Hey everybody, this is Dr. Maples. Today, I wanna to go back in time to my very first semester of college when I made a very foolish mistake and called one of my professors by his first name. You know, some professors are gonna be fine with that and not gonna be so sensitive. This case, it was not a good idea. In fact, I still had to take another two courses with this person, and frankly, I don't think they ever quite let it go. So what I want to do today is give you some really good advice on what you should call your professors and also some of these other people at the university and also give you some sound universal advice that will never lead you wrong if you don't know what to call a person at a university setting. Got a lot to talk about today, so let's get started. So in a university setting, students are going to encounter lots of different titles in lots of different situations. I wanna break these down to some basic encounters to let you know what titles you should use. The most common one's gonna be the classroom. And this one's actually the easiest. There's two appropriate choices here. The first one is you call them doctor, last name, Dr. Maples, or you call them professor, last name, Professor Maples. Both of these are acceptable in the classroom in any situation. Now let's talk about the difference between professor and doctor. Doctor is actually referring to an educational degree, a doctorate or PhD most common for your professors. This means that you're an expert in your field and you've probably gone through a lot of heartache, divorces, student loans, miserable starving times for five to 10 years to get that degree. Professor is actually an academic rank. There's different kinds of professors, assistant professors, associate professors, full professors. You don't need to worry about that. Just use the title professor for anyone that's in a teaching situation. Professor can also refer to people who don't have a doctorate degree. For example, if you have a master's degree and you're teaching a class, professor would be the appropriate title. You would call them professor last name. That said, in most classroom settings, you can use these interchangeably and they probably wouldn't even correct you. Even if they don't have a doctorate and you call them doctorate, they're gonna be just fine. In fact, if they're a grad student, they're gonna be pretty stoked about it because they're gonna be like, woohoo, they think I'm a doctor. And one day they will be. But for the time being, professor, doctor works just fine. Now, when you get outside of the classroom, things start to get tricky. First off, you're gonna hear all sorts of new titles. You're gonna hear about department chairs, program coordinators, deans, provosts, vice presidents, presidents, all sorts of different titles, and that's just a handful of them. Good news is, is almost all of these people have a doctorate, and almost all of them are gonna be fine with you just calling them doctor. And here's the other cool thing, if you're not sure, call them professor. Even if they're not a professor, they're probably going to feel respected by that title. And honestly, most everyone in a university in these upper positions will often have some kind of teaching experience now or in the past. So they're used to being called professor. As such, you can't go wrong with calling any of these people up above your classroom scenarios professor. Now, what about inside the departments? Well, it's tricky. Inside a department, you'll often have secretarial positions, office manager positions, and these people will have degrees, but it can be really tricky to know what their degrees are. Can I give you some really cool advice? Call them professor. It's funny, but it works. A, they may be perfectly fine with that. And in fact, you don't know, they may have doctorates. It's not uncommon to run into people who are working in staff jobs all across campus that have doctorate degrees, and it would be perfectly appropriate to call them doctor. But by calling them professor, you are hedging your bets. It's a title of respect, and you're not gonna go wrong. On top of that too, some of them will probably giggle and they will tell you what they actually want you to call them, which could be their first name, it could be a last name, it could be something else. But you can't go wrong calling them professor. In fact, that is my big piece of universal advice. You cannot go wrong using the title professor with anyone on campus. They'll either enjoy it, appreciate the sign of respect, or even if they're not a professor, it might make their day, who knows. Let's talk about something else though. Let's talk about first names. Should you call your faculty by their first names? I gotta be honest, it's a horrible idea. I would not ever refer to any of my faculty by their first name unless you have explicitly been told by that professor, 
no, please call me by my first name. That'll happen in a couple of ways. It could be the first day of class, they come in and say, hey, I want to call, I want you to call me by my first name. It'll be in their syllabus. They may say that. They may make it very clear in the class. It could even be in their emails that you're referring to them as Dr. So-and-so, and they say, actually, I want to be Dr. First Name, or I want to just call me by my first name. They will let you know, but you need to let them tell you. Now, the exception here could be with graduate programs. My advice thus far works for everyone, but you know, with graduate programs, this is where you've received your bachelor's degree, and now you're getting an advanced degree, like a master's or a PhD. And this is where, you know, maybe there's some room that the culture in that program would suggest that people should use the first names. Even there, my suggestion is let your professors tell you they want you to call them by their first name. In fact, that's what I did with my dissertation chair and all of my professors. I let them make the call and tell me when they were ready to be called by their first names. So there you go. The safe universal advice is you can call anyone on campus professor and you're going to be just fine. Thanks for watching this video. If there's a video that I can make to help you have an easier time in college, let me know in the comments below. Likewise, if you could share this on social media, that would be awesome. All right, thanks again. Have a great day, y'all. Take care.